Tarzan and the Diamond of Our Share. Tarzan and his friends are being held in the city of Asher. Wolf, attempting to steal the father of diamonds, is killed by a prehistoric ape. Tarzan later kills the ape. When he and Darno return to their quarters, they learn from the sweet hunter, Larson, that Magra has been carried away. Tom, meanwhile, has talked with and agreed to become the ally of Tira, queen of the Hesir. Magra is taken to Atef Suten's palatial quarters in the great temple of Ma'at Shu where she finds Helen Gregory, a prisoner, in a lavishly barbaric apartment. King Suten and Hakeru take the two young women to a secret chamber where they find Helen's brother, Brian, apparently dead. Margaret, do you hear me? Brian is just dead. Control yourself, Helen, dear. You will not to act like this. No, I've controlled myself long enough. First father is killed back there in the jungle, and then I'm captured and kept prisoner here, and now... Now I find my brother like this. Peace, Helen Gregory. I command thee. Oh, what does your command mean to me? Oh, I pray God to punish you for what you've done. I pray whatever God you worship here in this unspeakable place, I pray they curse you until your dying day. Oh, I pray they make your life as unhappy as you've made mine. Quick, Akeru. She has fainted. A moment. I shall bring water. Helen. Here, bathe her brow. There. There, Helen. No. You will feel better now. Oh, see, her eyes are opening. Oh, what happened? Oh, yes, yes I, I know. I'm sorry I fainted, Margaret. Both of ye be seated. What is thy will, Artef? We shall make clear to the maid the cause for her brother's punishment. Helen Gregory... Why came thy brother to the city of Asher? In the interest of scientific research. Had it been so, he would even now be free to come or go in our city, an honored guest. Nay, Brian Gregory lied to me. Oh, I don't believe that. It is true, Helen Gregory. Silence, Akeru. And thou, Helen Gregory, thy brother swore that he had no wish to possess the great diamond of the Hesse hair. Then by a trick... He entered the great ceremonial chamber alone at night. The talking ape on guard sprang at him. Brian Gregory pointed a thunder stick. It spoke, and the guardian ape fell dead. Well, then he killed to save his own life. Hear me out! He lifted the diamond in its golden disc from the casket and made for the central doors. He was caught with the gem and brought back to the sacrificial altar. But he seems so, so lifelike. It is the punishment meted out to those who attempt to steal the father of diamonds should they escape its guardians. My brother, Helen Gregory, was forced to look into the blinding glare of the gem until he became as ye see him now. Then he... he isn't dead. Nay. Yet he shall continue in this state of suspended animation until the end of time. Oh, I demand to release him from the spell or I'll... <laughs> oh. Thou wilt do what? Nay, it is impossible. And the matter resteth not alone with me, but with the council of thirteen as well. 
They, I know, will not consent to any lessening of Brian Gregory's punishment. Have you no idea what will happen to you when our friends find us? <laughs> Aye, they shall find ye. Unfortunately for them. But when they do, it will avail ye not, Magra. Nor thee, Helen. Well, what do you mean? Even now, the ceremonies are being planned for thy marriage with me. Thou art to be my queen of queens. Thou shalt sit at my right hand, and thy beauty shall be a fitting counterpart to the majesty and glory of myself, Atef Suten of the Hesse Hair. Oh, you beast. <laughs> you. Why, you're a monster. I'd kill myself first. <laughs> Such fire, when tamed, maketh a royal mate, my Hakeru. And thou, Atan Hakeru, shalt have the black-eyed one. Thou shalt have Magra. But hear me, Hakeru. Thy word, O Sutan, is law. You have never seen Tarzan of the Apes in fighting mood, Atif Sutan. No. Nor have I seen him in a laughing mood or a tearful mood. His moods interest me not, nor his professed great strength. I have spoken. It is finished. Tarzan has the strength of twenty lions, the speed of the leopard, the cunning of the serpent. Beware of his wrath, Suten. Yeah. And with all these, he will still be helpless as a babe when he meeteth the decree of the Council of Thirteen. Hath their fate been decreed by the Great Council, O Suten? Aye. A punishment so terrible that they will pray for the release of death. Meanwhile, Tarzan, Darno, Tome, and Larsen continue their council of war. The Swede and Atan Tome lie sprawled upon a fur-covered bench. Darno paces up and down with short, quick steps. Tarzan leans against the wall, unperturbed and calm, his brow slightly wrinkled in serious thought. I tell you, Tarzan, the lieutenant's right. You know how to get through the doors. We all know you've been a friend of nothing. What? What we been going to do when we get out of this room? I can't tell you from here. But I'll find something to do. May Tarzan, I repeat, Akiru said he would return to us and think of Magra alone somewhere in the city. But to rush out now is to strike blindly. Very well. If Akiru does not return within an hour or two, I'm going out to find Magra. And if Akiru will not speak, leave him to me. I know a method which will loosen his tongue. Quiet. Someone is coming. The Hesiarians. I don't know what he means, but he is pointing at you, Tarzan. No, no. Have you or Tom any idea what he wants? No, mon vieux, pas du tout. I don't understand you, my friend. What do you want? I think I understand, Tarzan. Not the words, but his last word was tira. He points to you and then toward the open doors. I believe he means for you to accompany him to an audience with the queen. That's what I gather. Very well. I'll go. Hey, don't take you better. That tirash is got an awful cold eye. Nevertheless, if I were Tarzan, I would accept the royal invitation. She may have something to offer which will be uh, helpful to us. Toma raison, Tarzan. But I <coughs> insist absolutely that I go with you. I'm going alone. This is my... Let the lieutenant go with you, Tarzan. Sometimes two heads been better than one. Right. Come on, Darno, let's go. So that been that. And we must sit here and do nothing while Magra may be in peril of death or worse. Well, ain't no fellow to look for trouble, but Magra can only be in one of two places. And that is? Only two people could count half the king and the queen. One of them's got her. I bet you. Yeah, you are right. And I sit here and talk. Maybe Marga been right in this building. Uh, sure. He never see two harder faces than that king and queen. Maybe they got Marga and... Stop, Larson, stop. You're driving me mad. You must do something. Do something. Do you understand? Yeah, sure, but... Listen. Uh... I can open those doors. We shall follow Tarzan and Darno. Perhaps we may be able to help them. That's what I've been waiting for, Tom. I think I go with you. Come, then. 
Exactly now. There may be a guard in the corridor. Come. Wait, I think they'd better close this door. It sure been dark here with those little blue lamps. Which way do we go? Through this ceremonial chamber. Those big doors at the end of the corridor. Go ahead. But I don't like this place for no good. I feel like plenty eyes was watching me yeah, all the time. It is a ghostly looking place, but do not let your imagination suggest things that do not exist, Larson. I ain't afraid of anything. I can see. But remember what the native said about this place. Uh, it's been taboo. Yeah. Press on that light-colored stone. It will open these doors into the ceremonial hall. Ah. Come. We will make our way through from column to column. They will hide us from anyone watching. Maybe so. But it ain't only eyes looking at me now. I can hear things. Like a soft wind up in the trees. How about the doors? Leave them open. We may not have time to open them when we come back. Before we leave this hall, Larson, let me show you where they keep the father of diamonds. Yes, yeah, sure. But hurry, this be no place for Lars Larson. Yeah, this way, through the center room. Ah, there. You see that white casket? That's where it been, eh? But there be no pillars out there. If anyone been here, they can see us easy. Well, there is no one here excepting the apes down in that pit. They don't want to see them without a gun. Larson. If we could get that casket open and get the golden disc with the diamond, I think we might take it with us, eh? And, uh, and, uh... And what? Carry that thing around while we've been looking for Tarzan and the lieutenant? Yeah, we might hide it and come back for it later. Eh, thought there been something about that stone that holds a fowler who looks at it in some kind of a trance. Well, we shall leave the diamond in the disc, take the entire thing. What do you say? Shall we try, eh? Here is the casket. Come, give me a hand with the lid. Well, all right. But let's hurry and get away from here. That pit there, don't leave it to me. Come, help me with this lid. Yeah, sure. Hey, ben... Stop! Boom! Feet! Look up there! Coming down from the dark ceiling. Straight for us! By Buddha, the fiery mask of death. Look! It stops swinging now and hangs in the air. <laughs> You hear that, Tom? It been talking to us. Childish trick me doesn't frighten or impress me. Hey, Jiminy. He upon whom the flaming face looketh shall pass into everlasting death before the fool of 